An air and sea search is continuing for possible survivors of the Edmund Fitzgerald, a 729-foot oar carrier, which apparently broke apart and sunk last night on Lake Superior. The ship and its 29-man crew vanished in a storm. The legend lives on from the Chippewa on down of the big lake they call Gitchagumi. The lake, it is said, never gives up her dead when the skies of November turn gloomy. With a load of iron ore, 26,000 tons more than the Edmund Fitzgerald weighed empty. That good ship and true was a bone to be chewed when the gales of November came early. The ship was the pride of the American side, coming back from some mill in Wisconsin. As the big freighters go, it was bigger than most, with a crew and good captain well seasoned. Concluding some terms with a couple of steel firms When they left fully loaded for Cleveland Then later that night when the ship's bell rang Could it be the north wind they'd been feeling? The wind and the wire made a tattletale sound when the wave broke over the railing And every man knew as the captain did too Twas the witch of November come stealing The dawn came late and the breakfast had to wait When the gales of November came slashing When afternoon came it was freezing rain of a hurricane west wind When summertime came the old pup came on deck saying fellas it's too rough to feed you Well, the search is continuing. Uh, we have a number of merchant vessels in the area 
assisting us in collecting debris, uh, two life rafts and uh, two lifeboats and a number of life jackets have been positively identified as coming from the Fitzgerald. The Coast Guard Cutter Nogatuck is currently in the area assisting in the collection of debris. In a musty old hall in Detroit, they prayed in the Maritime Sailors' Cathedral. The church bell chimed till it rang 29 times for each man on the Edmund Fitzgerald. And the legend lives on from the Chippewa down of the big lake they call Gitchagumi. Superior, they said, never gives up her dead when the gales of November come early. 